Hi everybody, my name is Ruth Ann Ream and I'd like to welcome you to my garden. Let's take a look around. This area has two Japanese maples. The one on the right is over 100 years old and this one is around 50 years old. The big fir tree on the left is probably over 100 years old. Behind me is an absolutely incredible dogwood tree. We just missed the bloom. The playhouse in the back was built originally for our granddaughter. The colors of the house were chosen for the flowers in this area when we put it in. It's really been fun. When you come down the side of the house, you'll see the fairy garden, you'll see the peonies. The funky redwood is one of my favorite trees on the property. I brought it home from California about 20 years ago. It actually arrived as a seedling, and it just really, really <laughs> loves it here. This bed is dedicated to hope, because it's filled with peonies, and every year I hope the peonies will bloom. And this year, they're gonna bloom. This is actually circulating water for a stream sound and was put in about 10 years ago. The room on the left, we call the Happy Frog Room, and the paint color is actually called Happy Frog, but it's dedicated to frogs because we really love frogs here. The area that you're coming to now is natural water on the property. Since we live at the bottom of the hill, we get all the water. And this is a koi pond, but the crane discovered the koi, or a hawk or something. So now we have goldfish this long. We're hoping that they will make it and that we'll have fish again, because they're a lot of fun. This is one of the stumps from the original trees on the property. It's just such a reminder of the fact that this land was here before we were. Another pond. This is a vegetable garden, and you'll notice we have a tall fence because the deer love vegetables. We have a little fence because the rabbits love vegetables. We've got raspberries at one end and blueberries, and we've got things, various things, early things planted, but nothing is growing very fast. They have their marching orders if you look at what's on the gate. What you see here are Chardonnay grapes, and the variety is specifically for the Pacific Northwest. There's such a science to the production of the grape berries, and it's all about the sugar content. It's so scientific. This is the last pond before it goes off to Puget Sound. Originally, it was just like a little pass-through water place, and we decided to deepen it so that we could attract frogs. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you had a good time on the tour of my garden and that you found something here that gave you a smile.